groundbreaking abstract one, our first plenary abstract, is the Atomic Trial, or Alliance A021502. This was a randomized trial of standard chemotherapy alone, or combined with the immune checkpoint inhibitor atezolizumab as adjuvant therapy for patients with stage three colon cancer with deficient DNA mismatch repair. So in this population of stage three colon cancer, those with deficient mismatch repair, which represents about 10 to 15% of patients, this group tends to be more resistant to chemotherapy alone, which is the standard of care. All patients in this trial were surgically resected, so none of this treatment was given preoperatively. It was tested in the adjuvant setting after surgery whether adding the immune checkpoint inhibitor atezolizumab improved outcomes when added to the standard of care chemotherapy, which was m fox 6 Currently, there are multiple immune checkpoint inhibitors approved in colon cancer, but only in the stage four setting, not in this resectable setting. Additionally, of background, a recent study showed a 100% response rate in rectal cancer that had DMMR or MSI uh, in response to immune checkpoint inhibitors when given neoadjuvantly. So this was of great interest to see if that translated to colon cancer as well. Also of note, this was a National Cancer Institute-sponsored uh, trial paid for with federal funding. It was a randomized phase three trial. All patients had surgery, were entered in the trial, all received six months of full FOX, and half received atezolizumab overlapping the full FOX, and then followed by six months of maintenance atezolizumab. The primary endpoint was disease-free survival. The results, uh, with over 700 patients randomized and a median follow-up of 37 months, three-year progression-free survival was 86.4% with atezolizumab and 76.6% without it, a hazard ratio of 0.50 or a 50% reduction in recurrences. Grade three, four uh, adverse events were a little bit higher in the atezolizumab arm, 71.7% versus 62.1%. So in conclusion, this study, Atomic, showed that adding atezolizumab to chemo in stage three DMMR colon cancer decreased recurrences by 50%. We're still awaiting the results of overall survival. This will change standard of care for this subset of DMMR stage three colon cancer. A study like this, targeting a small subset of a common cancer, could really only have been done with, in a setting with a multi-center structure, such as a cooperative group trial. We need to study the use uh, of atezolizumab and other immune checkpoint inhibitors in the preoperative setting, based on data from other tumor types. We need to better understand the optimal duration of atezolizumab. It was given here for almost a full year, including the maintenance. Do we need all of that? And we need to better define which patients and which tumors benefit most. We need to subset out the group that really has the most benefit so that we can avoid the toxicities in the whole population.